All right, traders, thank you. Today, I'm going to show you how you traders can easily create uh, your trading strategies in everyday English. You can then take those strategies and backtest them, uh, simulate them, which is similar to paper trading, or you can run them live. So today, we're going to go through a very quick presentation. It's going to take us about 10 minutes uh, or so, and then we're going to dive straight into the uh, practicals of how you can do this remembering that Capitalize is free of charge for all uh, technical traders. So let's get through this uh, presentation uh, very quickly, and then we're going to dive in and we're going to create our strategies here today. We're going to take you through uh, the Capitalized AI uh, platform. I see some questions coming through already. This is great. Please feel free to put any questions you may have. Let's make this interactive today, and I'll most certainly work uh, through them throughout the session. Also, if you lose the screen or the sound while we're going through this, uh, let me know on the uh, on the chat as well. Um, so today's, uh, I'm going to give you 30 seconds very quickly just to read through the disclosure before we get into the presentation. We're going to discuss how you can leverage automation tools to optimize your strategy's performance. It's going to save you time, eliminate emotional influence. Uh, we're going to scope some limitations, discuss best practices, and most importantly, traders, uh, we're going to delve into some interesting example strategies. Um, as So, traders, as the saying goes here, plan your trade and trade your plan. And I'd like to start by asking you what makes a trader. Go ahead and put in the chat if you want. Uh, for me, it's three elements. You need to have a trading plan, you need to pull the trigger, and you need to be disciplined. Meaning you need to think of your setup or strategy getting you in a trade before you dive in, and you need to think of your exits in the same way. If we don't, it's usually very hard to think clearly when we're emotionally invested in a trade for each his own whatever the risk-reward ratio might be, as long as statistically our overall winnings are on the plus side, we should be fine. Uh, simple, right? Well, we all know better. So what are the pitfalls of our trading plan? Well, it's our human nature. It's greed when we're in a trade that's going our way. We find it hard to simply close out as our plan had suggested. So we keep it open only to see it going against us. It's the fear preventing us from stopping our losses and ending up losing more than we should have. Uh, it's the boredom that gets us in a trade just because uh, it's been a while since we saw our specific setup and this one is close enough. And sometimes it's the fact that we can't always be there at the right moment. So limitations. It all comes down to the discipline necessary to stick to a good trading plan, which many of us lack. But not all traders suffer those pitfalls. So let's have a look at how trading has changed in the past few years. In the last 20 years, there's been a great shift in the financial trading industry. Today, more than 80% of global trading volume is being traded using machines, algorithms that run massive trading orders on a magnitude that just keeps on growing. And it's an opinion here that a small number of market players are responsible for the majority of global trading volumes because very few traders can afford expensive automated software. Trading is also changed by the fact that these days we have more information than we've ever had. Uh, today, we're swamped with data. The kind of data that was once very hard to come by is now flooding us all over the network. As such, today's automated trading systems are using much more than uh, price and volume data. Many of these systems use fundamental data, macro and microeconomic events, sentiment indicators, technical indicators, and inputs from in uh, other instruments and asset classes. Let's go through a few examples very quickly. Today, we're going to look at three examples. Uh, here on, uh, this was in 2018, 19th December, the Fed had announced its update regarding the U.S. interest rate. They'd been updated from 2.25 to 2.5%. We can already see there the market was on a short downward trend, and this announcement only added fuel to the bonfire. So being aware of such events could be crucial if we wish to respond 
on time. Another example here is within the long-term to the short-term yield curve. In general terms, the difference between the long-term yield and the short-term yield has been a good indicator in predicting faster periods of recession. We should expect that the long-term bond would have a higher yield as it inherently holds more risk. However, when the short-term bond yield is higher than the long-term, it means that the market may be expecting some trouble ahead. And on uh, 23 March, this was back in 2018 as well, uh, for the first time uh, since 2007, that spread dipped below zero once again. And as we can see, the market was quick to respond. And our last example here comes from Twitter. Uh, this was also in 2018. This was on August. Uh, Elon Musk had tweeted he was considering taking Tesla private. And as we can see, this resulted in Tesla going up uh, almost 11% in one day. So unlike uh, before today, trading is available 24-7 around the world. Uh, take the cryptocurrency market as an example. They trade 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So it's not a surprise that automation in trading is a trend that just keeps on growing. And the reason is simple. When using machines, you're limitless. You can trade around the clock on uh, multiple markets and at great speeds. So what is defined as algo trading? Well, in general terms, algorithmic trading means the use of a predefined set of rules written into computer code to automate the process of buying and selling. By this general definition, the term algorithmic trading could apply to any computer generated market operation. Uh, at times, this term refers to order execution, irrespective of whether the origin of the actual underlying trading decision is computer generated or not. At other times, this term can refer to the trading process where the computer entirely replaces the human trader, taking both the trading decision and often, but not always, managing the execution. This could also be referred to as uh, automated trading or uh, systematic trading or uh, black box trading. Uh, so why should I automate? As we all know, it's hard to remain objective when huge amounts of capital are at stake, especially in volatile conditions. I mean, who are we kidding? It's our money on the line, right? Let's take, for instance, the Forex market. The high volatility within can be traced back to political or uh, economic factors that influence Forex rates. This is why anyone who's trading Forex must constantly keep ahead of recent events in order to monitor currency fluctuations. Uh, for example, a, a recession is one type of event that can lower the value of a currency. And with that said, emotions are the pitfall of any trader overexcitement at favorable conditions or uh, panic in the face of unfavorable ones in a rapidly changing market can lead to costly mistakes. So automation takes emotions out of the picture and instead uses data to make objective decisions. So because of automation, trades have also become exponentially faster compared to previous decades. Being able to react uh, automatically to sudden market changes is a huge trading advantage. And with that, we're going to move on uh, to some advantages of trading. Then we can dive straight in uh, to capitalized on AI. Firstly, eliminating uh, emotional influence. Automated softwares completely eliminate emotions from your trading. As well, automation shows that a strategy is applied in its most objective manner, devoid of any subjectivity that may arise when trading manually. Emotions are a major hindrance to successful trading amongst many traders. When using automated software, you don't have to worry about uh, what we had spoken about in the beginning of the webinar, uh, fear, greed, boredom, or uh, overconfidence creeping up to derail an otherwise working strategy. Number two is to preserve discipline. As we mentioned at the beginning of the webinar, successful traders plan their trades and trade their plan religiously. It is difficult to maintain discipline in a fast moving market where real money is on the line. So automated software ensures that this is possible by making objective and repeated trading decisions at all times, regardless of market conditions. 
Uh, speed and accuracy. Automated trading solutions monitor the markets faster and more accurately than any human mind can manage. They're able to track trading opportunities across multiple assets and make accurate trading decisions in real time. Uh, trade orders will be executed as soon uh, as uh, as soon as set conditions are met, with no human errors involved. Uh, three is to trade in sophisticated strategies. So when using automated solutions, uh, that can help traders apply complex trading strategies in the market, which would ordinarily be difficult to do with the human mind. Whether it's applying complicated exit and entry conditions or uh, intricate trade management using trailing stops and time sensitive alerts, you can achieve precision and complete objectivity when using trading solutions. Uh, number five is backtesting. I'm going to show you how easy it is for you traders to backtest your strategies on Capitalize in a moment. So automated trading solutions allow for easy uh, backtesting on actual quantifiable data to determine their effectiveness or lack thereof. Backtesting is a time-consuming activity, but with a robot doing the activity, results can be seen uh, quickly and appropriate tweaking or optimization can be done if necessary. We're going to see how our first backtest turns out today. We may have some time to optimize it. It's something you traders can do quite easily on Capitalize. Um, our second last uh, advantage here is time saving. Time's our most valuable asset. If we look at our daily routines, they pretty much look the same. We sit in front of our trading desk waiting for events to happen and we react to them by placing trading orders. What a time wasting process, not to mention we can't be available 24-7. So if we allow a machine to take over these mundane tasks, well, we get our lives back. We can free ourselves up to do other things or uh, maybe focus on researching new trading techniques. We can simply do more is the short answer. And lastly is managing risk. An automated trading system is a valuable tool when it comes to managing risk. There are so many global events that once occurred can impact our portfolio. Not all of them we can think of in advance, but for those that we can, we can set rules to protect our portfolios in advance. Even in the most volatile uh, of markets, automated trading is hugely beneficial to protect your bank. Uh, human emotions such as uh, fear of accepting a loss or uh, even fear of missing out on a trade can all encourage manual traders to open positions they really shouldn't be in. So by abiding by these automated trading rules and conditions, you can be sure uh, that your trades are only executed at the right time and uh, your orders will always be closed once your profit or loss benchmarks are hit. Your trading plan can be followed to the absolute letter. And with that, traders, just want to sum up uh, the problem or three main problems faced by uh, many manual traders on a daily basis. Number one is FOMO, the fear of missing out. Experienced traders execute their strategies manually and don't have time to make all the trades they want in a 24-7 market. Number two is emotions are bad for good trading. So whether it's FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, or greed, Emotions often cause traders to deviate from their plan and result in expensive consequences. And number three, there's a high barrier to entry. Only those with advanced technical knowledge like coding or uh, money to spare have access to trading tools that may make it easier to profit. That's until now with our partnership with Tickmo. And I'm going to move on to the product demonstration uh, right now. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to capitalize. Maybe I'll just uh, give me a second here, traders, to uh, have a uh, look here at some questions that came through. Okay, wow, we've got quite a lot of questions uh, coming through. Keep them coming through, traders. So we'll get to them uh, throughout this session. So let's move on to capitalize AI. By the way, uh, capitalize AI is free of charge for all Tickmill traders. Uh, for those of you that don't have account, an account, you can sign up at tickmill.capitalize.ai. Please don't go there yet. I'm going to leave all the, uh, I'm going to leave this in the chat just before uh, we end the session and then you can go ahead and sign up. Um, if you haven't signed up yet, you can just go to this 
uh, site. You can click here uh, for sign up. You can just input your uh, name, email, phone number, and password. Uh, just accept the conditions and you'll be ready to go. Uh, luckily, I've got an account already uh, set up here. So I'm going to go straight ahead and sign in. Now, uh, for those of you that have not used Capitalize before the session, well, Capitalize enables you to create your trading strategy in everyday English. You can then take that strategy and backtest it simulated, which is similar to paper trading, or you can run it live. Now, the first page we see when we log in is the live examples. I'm going to come back to this in a moment or two, but you can find all of your pages here on the left-hand menu bar. We're going to go through most of these today. We're going to go ahead and start at uh, create new strategy. And uh, as the name implies, well, this is where you create all of your trading strategies, whether you're looking to use uh, fundamental data like an economic calendar, or whether you're looking to use technical indicators like an RSI, MACD, Stochastic, or whether you're looking to use price action or levels or volatility or bars, you can even create candlestick patterns or capitalize. So let's go ahead and start with a uh, simple strategy here. And the way you think of your strategy is the way you want to type it out. So let's go ahead and say, okay, if uh, let's start with the currency today. If euro, dollar, and perhaps what we'll do is we'll use an indicator. Uh, let's use a MACD, a moving average convergence divergence. If you're not too familiar with this indicator, don't worry. I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, in a moment. But anytime you select an indicator on the wizard, you can adjust the parameters on the tool to above. I might go ahead and leave the default 12269. Um, maybe we'll change that to a 30 minute uh, time frame so we can get some uh, hits here. And then we're going to say what's happening with the MACD line. Well, let's have a look at any time it crosses above the signal line. And again, if you're not sure what the signal line is, don't worry, hang, hang with me. I'm going to show you what this looks like in a moment. But there's our first condition, traders, and you can have as many conditions as you want in your strategy. Uh, for our first one, I think I'm going to leave it at uh, one condition and go ahead and let's buy one lot of euro dollar. Now, anytime you select an asset on the wizard, you get a link below here to trading view. You can reference the price, adjust time frames, add indicators um, here. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and click next. Notice at the top it highlights on exit. Feel free to move back if you need to edit. And just like your entry, you can close the position with anything. I think for our first strategy, we're just going to keep it very simple. Let's set a profit target. And I'm going to do this in pips, considering we're trading currencies. What should we go for here? We go for 20. Let's go for 25 pips, see how that comes out. Uh, and let's set a loss benchmark as well in case the trade goes against us here. I think what I might do is keep it at the same 25 pips. Let's leave it at this, see how it runs. Depending on the result, we might work on optimizing this strategy. Um, and that's all there is to creating a strategy here. It's an entry and an exit. Here on the test and automate page, you can choose to run your strategy once. In this case, it'll enter once, exit once, stop, or in loop. So every time it finishes a cycle, which is an entry and exit, it's going to start another cycle and another cycle indefinitely. You can limit the number of cycles or hits the strategy takes. You can have a total stop loss for the strategy. Worth noting, we have an individual loss here for each trade. But you could have a total stop loss for added protection. And here, you can name your strategy. If you don't want to, then we'll give it a name. We then have our entry and our exit conditions below. And then we have our full trading solution here. So here, you can back test your strategy, which is going to test it ex post on historical data. We have two buttons for this. We have the default back test, which will test for 90 days, basically three months. Or we have the time adjusted. So you may only want to test your strategy for uh, certain days or weeks. You can go ahead, select that on the calendar and run the back test. You can then simulate, which is similar to paper trading. So it's going to show you trades on Capitalize, but it's not going to touch your live account. And then you can run live. So anytime your conditions are met, 
well capitalized and open and close trades accordingly. Worth noting that once your strategy is live, you don't have to have capitalize open, nor do you have to have your trading platform open. Capitalize will monitor, trigger, and execute in the background. And uh, for our first strategy today, we're going to go ahead and back test this. We should see results within a minute, uh, depending on the number of trades generated. If your strategy is generating hundreds of trades in a three month period, uh, it may take several, a couple minutes to complete, but generally shouldn't take much longer uh, than that. Let me have a look while this runs, if I've got any questions here. Roland, I see you doing a great job here on answering uh, these questions. I just keep the questions coming uh, through here. I must certainly uh, get to some that perhaps Roland hasn't um, during the course of this session. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this page. Before we look at this page, though, just so you're all aware, our back test uses one minute data. It's nothing to worry about. It's just the granularity of the test. You can most certainly run any strategy through it. And uh, it's obviously different compared to our live and our simulation. Those are using tick data granularity where it's updated multiple times per second. Um, okay, we're going to go through this page. I've, I've just looked and I see this PL. This is actually. Uh, this is not bad for our first strategy here. We're gonna, we might work on optimizing this because let's be honest, traders. You know, a lot of us come into trading not knowing the exact strategy you want to use. A lot of it is trial and error, and you're gonna find that by tweaking the entry or the exit, you can get a completely different dynamic of a strategy. Before we do though, let's go through this page here. So here at the top, you can rename your strategy. This produced 63 hits. Remember, a hit is a cycle, entry and exit. Uh, basically the number of trades generated. This produced 0.25% in the last three months. Uh, a, you can limit the number of hits you see on the back test. Uh, here you can run live if you like it straight away. And this is your control panel where you can run live, you can edit the back test, clone, rerun, and get a shareable link. I'm gonna come back to this in a moment. Um, but here we have our entry that we typed out. We have our uh, exit that we typed out. Uh, this is our hit chart here. And this represents every trade that would have been taken had we employed this strategy in the past 90 days. And if we move our mouse pointer over one, let's say, let's take this one, for example, we can see some information. This is hit 58, trade 58, return 0.26% on a one lot trade. The PL was uh, just on 275. And uh, most importantly, traders, you can see the lowest and the highest points the trade reached in terms of min and max. Now, if you want some more information on hit 58, like execution, time, price, and so on, well, you could find that in our notification panel here. And this contains every trade from the latest, this being hit 63, uh, down to the first. And each trade has two cards, one entry, one exit. Exit always at the top. So if we scroll down, we're going to see hit 58 uh, exit right about there and hit 58 entry just below. So we can see this would have entered on June 26, 7 p.m. I believe I'm on uh, U.S. Eastern time. I'll show you where you can adjust your time zone in a moment. Um, executing at 1.06792 and uh, it would have exited... Uh, Roughly a day later, or just after a day, or just under a day later, 27 June, 3.31 p.m., executing at 1.07067. We then have our win-loss ratio here at the bottom. Um, you can uh, see we had 50% winning, counting for 31 trades, each winning on average about 271.90, and 50% losing, accounting for 31 trades, each losing on... Uh, average about 270. Some of you may have added these hits up here and get to 62, but in total you see 63 there. Now this can happen in back testing, and the reason is simple. The last trade, which would have entered yesterday, 3 p.m. Um, I think I'm actually on UTC. I'll need to check this time. We'll we'll check it just now. Um, would still be running today. So our win loss ratio only includes closed positions. Um, okay, traders. I think we're gonna take. Um, I think we're gonna take a moment 
right? And uh, optimize this strategy. By the way, our next webinar, which is going to be next month, is going to be solely focused on how new traders can optimize your strategies through back testing. Now, how we're going to do this is we're either going to tweak the entry or we're going to tweak the exit. And the easiest way to do this is I'm going to go to my control panel and I'm going to select clone. Now, clone is a simple copy and paste. It's not going to do anything to the strategy we just created. I'm going to show you where you can find it. It's simply going to bring the strategy up onto the wizard so we don't have to type it out again. And what I'm going to do is tweak the entry of it here. So not only are we going to look for the MACD line to cross above the signal line, let's also have a look at the same time if the MACD line is below zero. Um, and again, I'm going to show you what the MACD indicator looks like um, in a moment. So hang on there. So I'm only going to adjust that. Let's see if that changes um, the course of the uh, last strategy. We had about a 50% uh, win-loss ratio. So it was pretty much down the middle. Let's see if this changes it slightly. I think we had about 61 uh, trades on that. So let's see if we can take uh, fewer trades with adding an extra condition. Remember, the more conditions you have in your strategy, the harder it is uh, for those conditions to be met at the same time. So it's something for you traders to keep in mind um, while you're running your strategies. And um, if you traders are uh, you know, keen to know more about how to optimize, be sure to watch out for next um, month's webinar invitation. Um, okay, let's have a look at what we've got here. I don't want to speak too soon, but our win-loss ratio is looking much better there. Uh, we managed to up that by 8%. We managed to add another 1.2% on here. All we did was just adjust the uh, the entry condition. We just added another condition in it. We also took, uh, what's that, about 16 less trades, somewhere around maybe 17 less uh, trades to get an extra 1.25% uh, on there. Okay, so I'm glad this uh, worked out uh, like this. Um, for you traders that are not familiar with a MACD, I'm just going to bring up our trading view chart here. We're on a 30 minute. And we can see here we have our MACD indicator right here. It's these blue and orange uh, lines. The blue line is our MACD line. The orange line is our signal line. And we're looking for a crossover of these two. When the blue line crosses above the orange line, just as it does right here. But not only that, we're also looking for this crossover to be below zero. So we're not going to look at taking a crossover there. We're only going to look if it crosses over below zero, as it does there and as it does here. Okay, traders, important for me to remind you at this point that backtesting is not always the most accurate way to gauge the effectiveness of a given trading system. You know, sometimes strategies that perform well in the past, well, they fail to do well in the present. So past performance is not indicative of future results. Be sure to paper trade a system that has been successfully backtested before going live to be sure it still applies in practice. And again, something like this is easy to do on Capitalize. So I'm going to go ahead to my uh, uh, control panel. I'm going to clone this one. This is the one we're going to take uh, to simulate. And um, I'm going to keep everything the same, only this time I'm going to go ahead and simulate. Now our live and our simulation pages look exactly the same. The only difference is in the color of the uh, is in the color of the uh, header. Where on simulate it says simulate, it's in yellow, and on real it's in white. Uh, much of the page is similar to the back test. There are some differences, of course. So just to point those out, uh, at the top we have some information. It's live. It's in loop. Uh, we have zero hits. Obviously, we've just started the strategy. We're waiting for the condition to be met. Uh, you can limit the number of hits the strategy takes. You can have a total stop loss. And uh, your control panel on live and simulation contains a stop, edit, clone, run live, change from once to loop, and get a shareable link. Then, as with the back test, we have our entry and our exits. The... Uh, the right-hand notification panel, the win-loss ratio, and the hit chart are yet to populate. 
But the moment these conditions are met, you're going to start seeing some data flowing through. Now, the main differences are these widgets. And these widgets are monitoring the current hit. We can see here it's working on entry. We have two conditions. The first one is the MACD line to cross over the signal line. That's here. Our MACD line is the needle. The signal line is here. So we can see the MACD line is already above the signal line. It's going to have to cross below and then cross above while this is below zero. And if you want to confirm what you're seeing here is correct, so you can just bring up our chart here. And uh, here's our MACD. Um, and we can clearly see there it is above zero and the MACD line is above the signal line. So we're looking uh, good there. Okay, traders, let me have a look at some questions. Okay, Roland, you're doing a great job with the questions there. Thank you so much uh, for that. Traders, keep those questions coming through. Um, this is actually great. Um, okay, let's move on to the next item. That's the browse examples page. This is a great place for you traders uh, to get an idea of what types of strategies uh, are working in the market, or perhaps, uh, you know, to get an idea of what types of strategies you can create. Tickmill offers quite a large variety of asset classes from stocks to index, crypto, forex, and commodities. Um, I'm not going to go too far. Let's just keep on stocks for now. Uh, you can tag or you can sort by the best returning down to the hit counts. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, this is looking at Google, looking at this traded for at least 30 minutes below the previous day low. The strategy will then send a buy order. We got 20 trades on here, almost 80%, just under 79% win ratio, 31.88% return. Now you can go ahead and view the performance and you're going to notice that it looks like a live or a simulation page. And that's because it is. It's running live here, traders. You can see the entry that we've used, the exit. Uh, when the uh, trades happened, you can also see your uh, hit chart here and your win-loss ratio. And if you traders like a strategy um, like this and you want to use it, well, you can go ahead and clone. Again, it's a simple copy and paste. Of course, you can edit, add, remove whatever you like. And um, you can go ahead, uh, uh, simulate that test or run it live. I might go ahead and um, run this live just to show you that the live and the simulation pages uh, look exactly the same. It's just the color and the header that changes. Um, okay, the uh, traders, let's, uh, let's get moving on to the next item. Uh, that is the browse examples, uh, sorry, the My Strategy page. This is where you can view all of your strategies, all of your live, your simulation, your stop, your back test. And this is also where you can control them. Uh, you can see I've been running quite a few uh, different strategies uh, here. I've got quite a lot going here at the moment that I'm testing. And um, here's our Euro USD that we turned from the back test. You can access the strategy page by clicking anywhere on the bar or you can control it via the control panel here on the right-hand side. You then have your stopped, and then of course we have our back test. Uh, this is a great place for you traders to have a look at when you're optimizing your strategy. So here's our first strategy that we just took a hit at today, 63 trades at 0.25%. We adjusted the entry slightly. We took, uh, it was actually, we actually took, uh, what is that? Uh, 19 less trades uh, for an extra almost 1.2% uh, uh, PNL there. Um, okay, let's uh, let's move on here, traders. Before we get into our final strategies, we're going to look at how you can use uh, economic data um, with this as well. Uh, but before we get in there, I uh, let's look at the Discover page first. Uh, this is a um, great place to have a look at some templates on how to create uh, strategies. And um, what it is is a load of generalized templates from tech indicator strategies, price action, timing, conditions, smart uh, trades, candlestick patterns, and a whole load more. Um, but what I do want to point out is our community page. This is something new that we've added. I'm actually quite happy to see this. Uh, some Tickball clients that are sharing uh, their strategies. And these are Tickball traders that are sharing their ideas um, on strategies. 
and uh, they'll give you an idea of what uh, they're looking to do. For example, here is a sculptor. He's looking at trained uh, sculpting. Uh, you can upvote or downvote it. You can also preview the uh, template. And of course, if you creators like a strategy that you want to use, uh, you can go ahead and create it. Of course, if you want to share your strategies with the community, you can add it uh, right here. Okay. Traders, let's get moving on uh, very quickly to some housekeeping before we look at using time in your strategy and some economic data. Um, I want to quickly get through some housekeeping with you. The vast majority I'm going to leave up to you traders to explore in your own time. Uh, but I do want to show you where you can find everything. So on the left-hand menu bar here, we have our learning center. This is a great place for you traders to get a scope on what you can do with Capitalize. Uh, we run a weekly uh, demo session. Feel free uh, to jump in. Um, basically, we just run through a getting started uh, session of the platform. It mostly turns into a, a bit of a trading discussion towards the end. We also have our YouTube uh, channel and uh, we have another examples page. This is different from the live examples that we looked at. And uh, what it is is, again, a load of generalized templates from using time in your strategy, dyna dynamic limit orders, um, and, uh, and a whole load more. So go ahead and check that out. Um, and then we have our article section. This is the place to go to if you're not sure about something. You can browse through our categories or uh, you can search via the search bar there. Then uh, we have our settings here. This, yeah, I'm actually on UTC. I thought I was on U I thought I was on uh, UTC minus four on New York time. I must have changed it. But this is where you can adjust uh, your time zone that you want your platform to be in. Uh, you can set up, or rather, edit your password and set up your two FA. And uh, most importantly, traders, you can set up your notifications so you're notified of any time uh, an entry is triggered or there's an exit. Uh, triggered or this trading orders expired and so on. And you could set that up to your preferred method, be that email, uh, desktop, or my favorite is if you go to the App Store or Play Store, you can download our mobile app, uh, get the full functionality of the web interface on the go, and um, you can get push notifications on your mobile. So uh, whichever is your preferred method, uh, go ahead and uh, set that up. Um, okay, traders, then uh, very important to note that when you sign up for a Capitalize account, uh, you don't have to use uh, the same email as you have with Tickmo. You don't have to use the same password. In fact, we recommend you use a different password. Um, but it's important to remember that your account is not connected immediately as you sign up for Capitalize. Um, you still need to do that. And you can do that on Connect trading account. Oh, my account is already connected. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it. I'll just show you traders uh, how we do this. Um, it's basically just your MT credentials. So let me go ahead and put in uh, my MetaTrader credentials here. And I'm on server live. By the way, you can test this with a demo or a live account. Um, and you can go ahead and submit and your account will be connected after. Of course, we recommend you enable 2FA. I'm not going to do it right now, um, but if you're connecting your accounts, it's always more secure if you do uh, enable um, uh, 2FA. Okay, traders, let's have a look at the time. Yeah, we got we got a little bit of time uh, left here. Um, keep those questions coming through. Yeah, Roland, I think you're doing a great job there. Um, help, uh, Roland, if you weren't able to answer any questions there, uh, let me know about it and uh, I can always uh, get to them. Um, let's go through a few uh, other features that we have here, traders. So firstly, you can use economic data in your strategies as well. Um, let's create just a notify me strategy. So the first strategies we created was a back test, was then a simulation. Um, here, we're just going to create a notify me. And the way I like to start my notify me strategies off is one minute after intrigue starts, notify me. And uh, let's use some economic data here. Perhaps 
the what should we use? Should we go with GDP? Maybe we'll just go with the NFP job numbers in the US. So let's say if the NFP results are let's say above forecast, uh, let's put a buy delta share by at least uh, thirty percent. Um, and let's have a look if EUR USD is below. Uh, let's say EUR USD is below. Oh, sorry, is below EUR USD uh, previous month close. Now you could add as many conditions um, as you want. Um, uh, JML, I see you were saying. I see a question coming through from you. Is it possible to use pivot points? Yeah, you can. Maybe I'll just quickly put it into here. So not only are we going to look for the NFP results to be above forecast by at least 30%, we're also going to look for euro dollar to be below euro dollar previous month close. And if EUR USD, now we could use the price, let's say is below EUR USD, let's say PR1, pivot uh, resistance one, we could also use a bar. Um, so we could also say, for example, if euro dollar, let's say one by one hour bar closed. So this is looking at the latest one hour bar closed. If we wanted to look at the two latest closed, we could put two and you can go all the way up there to, uh, I think 200. Um, so here we'll look for the latest two hour bar closed. Uh, let's say is below EUR USD pivot one. So you traders can use uh, pivot points as well. I think I might leave it at this. And important to note with a notify me strategy, you don't need to put an exit. You can run this in loop and um, you can simulate a run live. It makes no difference because it's just a notify me. And when these conditions are met, uh, you'll be notified of that. Um, okay, let's move on to using time in your strategy. So there may be times where uh, perhaps you uh, only want to trade or uh, perhaps you want to avoid trading altogether. Um, maybe we'll go with a stock for this uh, example. Let's say that you're trying to, you want to avoid the first 30 minutes of the US Open. Perhaps it's too volatile, whatever the case may be. You can start any strategy off with at, after, before, between, or except between. So let's go ahead and say, okay, except between, let's say, 09, it's going to be safe here. Let's say 0929 and 1005 US Eastern time. Let's say if NVIDIA, what should we go with here? Let's say if NVIDIA, let's just look at an RSI relative uh, strength index. Remember, an RSI measures uh, the speed and change of price movement. So it shows us when an asset is overbought or oversold. Let's have a look at if NVIDIA, um, maybe we'll go here with a one hour close, is oversold. So let's say below 30. We could, if we're looking for a certain point, by the way, you could also use this crosses below 30. So, or uh, let me, let me sort this out quickly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you get something wrong, it'll come up in red. So you just take it back here. Yeah. I can see where I went wrong already. Crosses below 30. So if you're looking for that exact point when it goes from uh, just above oversold to being below, you could use crosses. Or if you're looking for any time it is below, just use is below. Um, then let's go ahead and buy, uh, let's buy, for example, one NVIDIA. And um, only if this condition is met uh, during this time uh, would, uh, sorry, outside of these hours would it trigger. If it's between, if it's during the first 35 minutes of the open, it's not going to trigger. And you can use time in your strategy as well. Perhaps you don't want to keep a position overnight. So we can say, okay, let's close the position. Perhaps it may make sense considering we're getting in when it's over, uh, when it's oversold to keep the position until it's overbought. So let's say if NVIDIA is above strictly at 70, but let's go 75. Oh wait, I should use RSI there. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, and we're using a one hour there. So we'll go there is above 75 or let's say at 
1558 U.S. Eastern Time. So that will close the uh, the position two minutes before uh, the uh, close of the regular session. We can go ahead and uh, run that. And uh, yeah, with that, traders, I think uh, I've gone through most of uh, what I wanted to go through within this session. You know, it goes without saying that what we've been through today is uh, is simply the tip of the iceberg when it comes to capitalize. There's so much more that you can do. And uh, if any of you need a guide on what we've been through today, you can always have a look at our support center here. Yeah. Um, so you can uh, browse through our categories here, or you can search via our search bar. I saw a question come through. Uh, I quickly glanced at it earlier on. Someone asking about candlestick patterns. So if you want to know more about how to create candlestick patterns, for example, uh, you can go ahead and uh, type in candlestick. Uh, you get some articles uh, coming up here. And um, each article will give you a step-by-step -step guide on uh, how to create uh, these candlestick patterns. I'm actually sure that we're going to be running a uh, webinar uh, fully focused on candlestick patterns in the future with Signal. Uh, so be sure to watch out for uh, that invitation as well. And um, with that, traders, let me get to some questions here. Uh, feel free to put any questions you may have on uh, to the chat. Um, and I'll take some time to get through it. If any of you have a strategy, perhaps, that uh, you're looking to create and you want to see how it's quickly created on Capitalized, go ahead and put it into the uh, chat as well. Let's have a look here. Hans, you're saying you may have missed it, but how many strategies can you have live at once? Great question. Um, so, Hans, at the moment with Capitalize, uh, when you sign up for an account, you can have uh, you can run up to 60 live and simulation strategies simultaneously. So that's 60. And uh, if you traders need more than that, you can always chat with me here on the in-app chat. You'll see a familiar face right there. Um, and uh, you can always send me a message and I can uh, up that amount. Also, if any of you traders um, you know, need help in creating strategies or uh, you maybe have an issue with the strategy, you know, you can always chat with us here uh, on the, on the in-app chat. Cool. Let me go through some questions, uh, here. Keep some questions coming through traders. We've got a couple of minutes left. Really happy to see everyone's hung around here. Um, so, uh, this is great. Um, feel free to put any more questions you may have. We've got quite a lot of questions that have come through. So give me a moment to go through them, uh, here. Let's have a look. Um, Chad, you're asking, what is the minimum amount? I believe with Tickmill, when you're trading currencies, uh, uh, 0, uh, 0 0.01 lots is the minimum amount. So you can easily type that out as, for example, buy 0 0.1 lots of NVIDIA or uh, of the Euro dollar and go ahead with your strategy. Um, so you can use the exact, uh, the exact syntax, you know, you probably use, uh, in your, uh, in your, um, Tickmill MetaTrader station there. Um, okay. Let's have a look through, uh, some questions here. Um, Oh, you say just in case, say we have already coded the strategy. How are we going to run that to MT4, MT5? Where have you coded your strategy, Cole? Are you coding it in Python? Are you coding it in Pine scripts? Let me know in the chat. Um, bear with me, traders. I'm just working through some questions here. Um, okay, uh, Benele, if you're looking for a request, Recording. I think Roland had mentioned here that um, that um, there will be a recording made available. So I'm sure you could just get in touch with a Tickmill uh, customer support or representative, and they'll be able to send you uh, this recording. 
Uh, let's see here. Chi, you're saying, is there any default strategy for new users like me who are not familiar with technical analysis? Yeah, that's a great question. And um, Chi, you could easily check that out on the on our uh, browse examples page. This is a great place for you to go through to have a look at what types of strategies you can create, how you would type them, and uh, most importantly, about what's working in the market at the moment. Um, okay, let's have a look here. Okay, let's see some new questions that have come through here. If I've missed any of your questions, or if Roland has perhaps, please feel free to post them again now onto the chat because I'm at the most updated questions. Okay, Wei, you're saying, is it possible to put in many criteria in one strategy, like more than 10? Yeah, Wei, you can have as many conditions as you want in one strategy. But just remember, you know, if you're using a criteria like 10 conditions, that may become quite difficult for all of those conditions to be met at the same time. So yeah, you can use as many conditions as you, as you want. Your strategy may look like an essay, but um, yeah, you can use any conditions as uh, you require. Um, pardon, you're saying which time is good to use to take trades on an RSI? Traders, it's very important that um, we don't give any uh, recommendations or suggestions. This is as per company policy. But if you traders are interested in how to test what are good times uh, for your indicators or for trades, be sure to uh, join in on next month's webinar where we're going to be focused solely on optimizing strategies through that. Today, I think we got a bit lucky with these two. You know, the second try, we already got uh, better here. But I'm going to show you some techniques that you traders can use to optimize your strategies uh, that you're looking uh, to better. And then you can test out different uh, timeframes on that. Um, okay, let's get some more here. Uh, Melissa, you're saying, can we use candlestick patterns in confluence with Forex news with accuracy? Yes, uh, you can, Melissa. Just remember, you know, if you're using a strategy with Forex news, for example, the NFP is released only once a month on the first Friday. So if you're using a candlestick pattern in conjunction with, for example, the NFP, the only time it could possibly trigger is when all the conditions are met. And that would be at the release of the news on the first Friday of every month. So that's something to keep in mind um, if you're looking to use both of those at the same time. Although you can backtest, you know, just candlestick pattern strategies, you can backtest them with new and compare to see how they come out. Um, okay. Wei, you're asking, can we do dollar cost averaging strategy? Yes, you can, Wei. Important to remember that if you're looking to use a DCA strategy um, with Capitalize, you can't have an exit with it. So you would need to um, you would need to uh, manually close those positions. Um, if you're if you're using a non hedging account, you could create another strategy to close those positions. But if your account is hedging, you would need to manually. And the way you could do it is, for example, if you're looking for any time, um, let's say one minute after entry starts. If let's say Tesla, um, let me. Let's say if you, you're looking to get in, let's say like this. Let's say every three days, three days after entry starts by five Tesla, for example. You could do it without a condition, just like this. And every three days, we're going to execute a position for you of five Tesla. And when you get to the uh, exit, just skip the exit. And uh, you can run this uh, in loop. So that would give you a dollar cost averaging strategy to buy a certain amount of shares uh, every day. Um, okay, let's have a look at some other questions. Um, okay, uh, Chong, you're saying, hi, Edmund. Is this currently already available for all existing technical clients? Yes, traders, it is. And you can all go sign up for free. Remember, this is free for Tickmill traders. Um, this partnership we have with Tickmill is uh, really great. You know, we're, we're able to offer this to Tickmill traders free of charge. 
And um, I've just put in where you traders can sign up um, on the chat. So please be sure to copy down that um, to copy down that URL so you can sign up. I might need Roland, uh, perhaps I could ask Roland if there's anywhere on Tickwell's website that they could access Capitalize or if they have to go to uh, the URL. Uh, Roland, maybe you could let us know about that. Let me take some questions here, traders. I've got a couple minutes uh, left here. Um, okay, uh, Deepak. Uh, you're asking, are we able to use MT4, MT5 indicators here and write logic based on that? Um, no, Deepak, um, you can't at uh, the moment uh, use MT4 or MT5. Um, although for you traders that are coding your strategies in PineScript or perhaps um, looking uh, to use some uh, different indicators, um, there is a possibility of using webhooks with uh, TradingView at uh, Capitalize AI and then automating onto your uh, Tickmo account there. Uh, Jamie, I'll be saying, is it possible to have a buy and sell condition within one strategy? Good question there. Uh, Jamie, it depends. Um, if you're looking to, if you're looking at the same time to, for example, buy one asset and sell another, yes. If you're looking to buy and sell the same asset, that would you'd need two different strategies for that: one for the buy and one for the sell. But you can use as many as you want. For example, let's buy 0.1 lots of EUR USD, and uh, let's sell 0.1 lots of USD JPY. For example, you can actually have as many actions as you want. Uh, in your strategy, but if you're using certain conditions uh, for each uh, for each pair, I would suggest you keep one action per strategy. As I mentioned, you can run up to sixty live strategies, and if you need more, you can always chat with me. Uh, oh, where's my in-app chat gone? Uh, my in-app chat seems to have disappeared, but you'll see the in-app chat at the bottom there. Uh, you'll most certainly be able to chat with me uh, through there. Roland, thank you for putting up. Uh, the URL traders, be sure to copy Roland's URL as well. Uh, you can also sign up through uh, Tickmill's uh, website for Capitalize AI and find uh, information there. Traders, that brings me to the end of the session. Wow, we made exactly an hour there. I want to thank all of you traders for the questions that came through here today. You made this super interactive for us. I really appreciate it. Um, be sure to look out for next month's invitation. We're going to do it in the first week of next month. Uh, we're going to be focused on optimizing strategies through backtesting. You're going to want to get into that uh, into that session. Traders from myself and the team here at Capitalize and uh, the team at Tickmo, um, thank you all for joining in on this session. Uh, have a great week ahead. Uh, whatever you traders are doing, good luck uh, with your trading uh, for the week ahead. And uh, whatever you traders are doing, take care of yourselves and stay safe.